The following is a 360 degree video presentation best viewed on a mobile phone, tablet, or your desktop computer. Join me today as we tour a camper van that I think has one of the best layouts and is the most versatile in the entire industry. All that and more in today's episode. My name's Neil Balthaser and I'm your host at Ultra Mobility, the channel all about Class B camper vans. If you're interested in Class B camper vans or are looking to buy, this is the channel for you. If you haven't done so already, I ask you to please consider subscribing. It's super easy. Just click the subscribe button and it'll help me continue to make great videos. We're inside a 2018 Heimer Active 1.0. So this is built on the shorter wheelbase ProMaster chassis, which means it comes in at 19 feet 7 inches as compared to the Active 2.0, which comes in at 20 feet 11 inches. So you get about a foot and a half more space in the Active 2.0. And by the way, the pronunciation is active, not active, at least according to Erwin Heimer. There's a lot that I like about the Active 1.0 and 2.0. The big thing is this layout. So this layout is where you have the front lounge, which is where I'm sitting, and you have the two cab seats up front, which can swivel around, and you have two, kind of have a jump seat here where two people can sit, and they are seat belted here as well. So you have seat belts for four passengers. And this table can flip down or it can flip away. So this front part of the van is really livable. And it's one of the largest front lounges that you're going to get in a van this size. And it's incredibly open and airy when you take into account all the expansive windows all around you. And then this enormous sunroof there above you, which pops open and has the screen and privacy shades for it as well. So this has a very wide open, large feeling. Now what I like about the active line of products from Erwin Heimer is they're one of the few products that are catered toward families. So because this van can take four passengers seat belted, it can also sleep four people. So you can sleep two in the back in the permanent bedroom slash garage in the back. And then this area converts into a bed for two small children or maybe one teenager or an adult could curl up here. But in a 20 foot van, actually less than 20 feet, the fact that you can have two bedrooms in the van is pretty incredible and pretty special. Now this layout has been tried and tested in Europe for years. In fact, if you go look at most RV class B van camper vans in Europe, what you're going to find is there are 95% of them, 99% of them are built on the ProMaster chassis. In Europe, it's called the Ducato. Here, it's called the ProMaster. And most of them have this layout. There's different configurations, but most of them have the lounge up front like this with the jump seat and the two captain's chairs can swivel around and then some type of second bedroom in the back. And there's a reason for that because it works really, really well. So I'm really happy that Heimer has brought this over from Europe. They're not the only RV manufacturer that has this layout. There's also, of course, the Travato 59G. But uh, I think the quality level inside of the Active is a bit higher than what you would find in the Travato. I really like the color schemes that they've used inside of here. I, I like the material that they've used on the seats and the cream color the wood and the wood flooring and, and the lighter color on the cabinetry, it all really works well for me. And I think it all comes together nicely. When you first come into the van, it has a very modern feel to it. it I don't know if you can see the light switches down here and the outlets. They just have a very modern feel. It's very, very nice. Um, these windows are the acrylic windows. I believe these are, they look to be dual pane as well. So that's nice. So for insulation, uh, with inclement weather, cold weather, these are going to perform very well. Um, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Now, the seat that I'm sitting in, it's comfortable. The, the cushions are comfortable. 
you do sit very much upright, but it's not like something that I would say I'm going to be uncomf in, uncomfortable in. It is comfortable, but you do sit quite upright in it. But I think it's fine for what these are, which are secondary seats inside the van. Of course, the two primary captain's chairs look very comfortable and they do come with a thorax airbags as well, which is very nice. What's nice as well is that these seats have the shoulder restraint. So that's, that's very, very nice. And the very nice head restraint. So it looks quite safe. This coach looks like it comes with the EcoTrek, which is the lithium ion battery, as you see here. And it comes with the Truma Combi system. Now, I uh, have heard from other people, and I've experienced it myself, where the control switches for the lithium, the Ecotrick system, the lithium batteries are a little finicky, and you, it's not as easy as just turning it on. They, they appear to need to be held and reset and things like that. So be aware of that, and maybe that's something that Erwin Heimer is, is working on. I'm also not a huge fan of kind of all the buttons and control centers. You know, I am a big fan of the way PleasureWay does it with a single multiplex wiring color touch control panel to consolidate all of your controls into. I, I just feel that in a van this size, having less controls cluttering the interior space uh, helps quite a bit. Well, here you are inside of the cab. You see the cab, it's very automotive feeling. It's very nice. You sit up very high, wide field of view, just like all the ProMasters are going to have. The two large cup holders at the bottom are great. Now, the nice thing about the ProMaster is the mirrors that you see on the side can be automatically retracted into the side of the van. That's nice. I can't do that on my Sprinter. They don't offer that. Even on the highest end Sprinters, they don't offer that. And then the lower parabolic mirrors that you see as well, those are electronically controlled. So you can move those in and out as well electronically. Again, on the Sprinter, it doesn't matter high, how high end you go, you, can't, you have to manually control those parabolic mirrors. What a great price on this. It's advertised price is under 90000 89998 That's a really compelling price for this RV. I have got to say, that's pretty nice. Now, you, can, you may have seen when we came in, there's ducted heating, and it's the Truma Combi system. Love Truma, love the Truma Combi system. It's a high-end component. It combines the water tank uh, heater with the coach heating. And the fact that it's ducted is very quiet and very nice. So, again, you can be on much higher-end uh, camper vans than this that does not have ducted heating. And does not have lithium ion battery pack. So this has both of those here. Very, very nice. As we step back into the galley, this is the shorter active 1.0, but you still have the same size galley, I believe, as you do on the 2.0. So you have your sink here, which is nice. A nice residential control, and I like the fact that this pulls out. I wish that I had that on my scent. That's very nice. And then you have your two burner stove over here which is the same one that I have on my Ascent. They also give you two AC outlets up here and they give you a USB charging point. And it looks like you could mount a TV if you wanted to over here as well. There's, there's a coax. And look at this, a little clip here uh, and a hook for you hanging anything that you might want. So that's nice. There's a compressor refrigerator over there. And it looks like it's got a teeny tiny little microwave up here. Although we're the Russos removed that and they put more storage in here, but I like my microwave. It's, it's very helpful for me. Now, one thing I do want to point out is this looks to be, I believe, granite. Let me see. Can't tell. Can't tell what this is. I don't think it's granite. So, all right, we're not going to talk about that. These drawers are very nice. They are, as you can see, positive latching. And they're soft close. That's a nice feature. They have these tambored doors uh, over here for additional storage. Storage back here. You know, the quality seems to be okay. I'm not seeing anything that pops out to me in terms of quality problems in this particular RV. But it seems to be okay uh, quality. 
Okay, just opposite the galley is the bathroom. Now the bathroom is a little bit smaller, but it has to be in this van because keep in mind, we're making space for a lounge up front as well as a permanent bed in the back. So the space has to come from somewhere. So it's come from the bathroom, but it's still a pretty good sized bathroom. And what I like about it is it's got this flip down sink in it as well. So you can flip that sink up out of the way when you don't need it. It gives you more space. And then it does have a cassette toilet. So for those of you who don't know, like my RV has a black tank. So more, you just flush it. Uh, it's a porcelain toilet and it goes into the black tank. You don't worry about it. This has a cassette, meaning it goes into its own little small five gallon holding tank, which then you access from the outside and you pull it out like a suitcase and then you dump it. You dump it yourself. Uh, it has its advantages, cassette toilets, in the sense that you don't have to find a dump station. So it's more convenient in that sense. But it's inconvenient in the sense that you are handling your own waste and dealing with all of that unpleasantness. And you're going to be dumping a lot more often because you have a five gallon tank versus something like a 12 gallon or larger tank. This has a timbre door. I, normal, I like the look of timbre doors but they do have a tendency to rattle. But I'm here to tell you that this one is not rattling so much uh, as what I've seen on other, on other vans. So, so that's nice. So you do get the, the advantage of having the nice timbre door gets out of the way. It looks nice and it doesn't seem to rattle so much. I think because it's not, it doesn't feel like it's metal. Um, nice big mirror in the bathroom and the toilet spins around as you can see so it gives you a little more space it's a wet bath <clears throat> so you will be taking your shower in there so it's really nice that that uh, toilet spins around like that because it gives you more space inside the bathroom and a huge fantastic fan vent in the bathroom to to air it out nice big hooks across the top which is nice as well you're in the bedroom slash garage of the 2018 Heimer Active. This is the 1.0, so it's a shorter wheelbase. What that means is your bedroom's a little bit smaller. So it's about, I'd say a foot and a half or so smaller than what you'd get in the Active 2.0. But they both have the same configuration in the sense that uh, the bed, as you can see right now, is flipped up. And so the real advantage that that gives you is you have this large pass through here from the back of the van all the way, frankly, up to the cab. So if you want to use it for hauling or you want to store big bulky items back here, maybe you've got tents and backpacking gear and things like that, it can fit very easily in the garage back here when the bed's up. And keep in mind, you still have this whole usable lounge up front. So this is out of the way and extremely pragmatic and usable. And when you want to make this into a bed, it's super simple as you can see here. This is just latched in and you just push that and then, I won't do it, but you just drop this down. And then this becomes a platform for the bed. And there's a set of mattress cushions on the backside here and you fill it in. Now the bed isn't the biggest in the world, but it's, it's an okay size and I'll put the dimensions up. You will sleep laterally in this. There's not enough room for you to sleep uh, lengthwise on each side. So you'll be sleeping laterally here. But keep in mind, you're in a van that's basically 19 feet. So it's a very good size van. Now, the other thing I like about the Active is you've got lots of windows in the back. So you've got the two big windows on the doors and then on each side, you've got the acrylic double paned windows as well. So you've got lots of light back here in the bedroom if you want it. But if you don't, you've got these privacy shades you can bring down. And if you look down below you, you've got a ton of storage because Everything underneath this platform for the bed is storage and you have these cabinets above. And now I put the bed down so you can see these are the slats. It's really nice, the wood slats. It's very well constructed, screwed construction. Uh, gives you a little bit of air underneath the mattress. And look at the mattress. The mattress has, mattresses have really good thickness. They're not thin and flimsy and I felt them. They have a very nice feel to them. Uh, they are memory foam. They have look like they have really good ventilation. So this bed uh, looks like it'll be very comfortable. So think about that with the Active. It lets you carry four passengers. It lets you sleep two adults back here. And then if you have two kids up here, it's got an enormous garage and amount of storage 
for all of your stuff as a family. It's got a great, nice size galley and a beautiful bathroom. And the van comes in at under 20 feet. It's 19 feet, seven inches. That's pretty incredible. And the price for this van, as we see it listed here, it's eight, it's under $90,000. I'm sure you'll get it for less than that from the dealer, but this particular van's under $90,000 and it comes with the lithium ion batteries and it comes with the Truma Combi system and it comes with the ducted heating. It's got a compressor refrigerator. It's got an inverter, which is nice. So this is a really fantastic deal, I think, for people. And there's a reason why the Heimer Active is selling so well. I think they hit a sweet spot in terms of balancing the needs of RVers, in terms of how many passengers you can carry, how many people can you sleep, the size of the van, so can you get it into areas, uh, tight parking spaces, and then the price point. So this is a really good van. I'm really impressed. Very good, Erwin Heimer. So what's my final recommendation to you? If you're a family and you want a camper van where you can sleep two adults and two children, there's very few options for you on the market, but the Heimer Active, both the 1.0 and the 2.0 will allow you to sleep kids in the front part of the lounge, which converts into a bed. So that's really great. And automatically, if you are a family or you're maybe some grandparents that have grandkids, you need to look at the Heimer Active 1.0 or the or 2.0. As well, if you're a family or someone looking for a touring coach, that is something that can carry seven passengers, then you should look at the Heimer Active 2.0 with the sofa bed layout option in the back. That sofa bed option in the back allows you to seat three extra people with seat belts for a total of seven passengers seat belted that can be carried in the Active 2.0. So suddenly that coach, that RV becomes now a touring coach. And I'm very big on finding multiple uses for RVs. So if you can use your RV, not just for camping, but now as a touring coach, that's even better. Now there are just a couple things that I wish they would change about the active. To me, if they would put larger windows in the back lounge for the layout where you have the sofa bed in the back and the two ottomans, like we have right now in my ascent, I have large picture windows all the way around, which is really what you want when you have a rear lounge. Right now, the windows in the 2.0, when you have the sofa bed option they're very small they're they're windows that are really meant to be for the bedroom when you have the permanent bed in the back but i think if they could make an option where you had larger picture windows like panoramic windows like we have in the back of this van man it would make that back lounge even better it's already nice but it would make it even better and more enjoyable to sit back there so that's something i wish erwin heimer would think about the other thing that would just make that active a bomb for me is if they offered that sofa bed in the 1.0, which may not be possible because we lose a foot and a half of space, but if they could offer the sofa bed in the 1.0 and the loft edition as well. So the loft edition on the active is where they have a pop top camper on the top. So you can, it's low profile when you're driving it around, but when you get to your destination and you want to have an, a berth at the top of the van for another two people, then the top pops up and there's a little ladder from the lounge you can climb up into the loft. Kids love it. That allows you to sleep up to six people in that van. So think about that. If you could get the 2.0 with the sofa bed in the back and the loft edition, you can carry seven passengers and sleep up to six. That's incredible in a van that's just under 21 feet in length. So I applaud Erwin Heimer for creating the active. There's a reason why it's very popular. A lot of viewers have been waiting for this review. I really like the Heimer active line from Heimer. I think it's a fantastic layout and I think they're offering it with a lot of great features like Volt Start and the lithium ion battery banks that you can get and the different solar arrays. So they offer a lot of different configurations for it. It's very versatile, 
the quality is okay. I mean, it's not going to be as high as, let's say, a pleasure way, but it's still very, very good. And so I highly recommend the Heimer Active 1.0 and 2.0 from Erwin Heimer Group. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love if you became a subscriber. It helps me continue to make great videos. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I try to answer each and every one of them. We'll see you again next time on Ultra Mobility, your channel for Class B camper vans. Take care. Bye-bye.